senior NCO organization is responsible for the maintenance of the colors and care and its care. And so first our mayor motto passes the unit colors to the outgoing commander Colonel David J. Coates, signifying the unit's appreciation for his leadership and guidance. Colonel Coates then passes the unit colors to Major General Burton, the Adjutant General of Utah, signifying the rel relinquishing of his command and the gratitude for the opportunity to lead soldiers. Major General Burton then passes the, the colors to the incoming commander. Colonel Charlene C. Dalto, entrusting her with the responsibility and care of the detachment. Military members, attention of orders. Charlene C. Dalto assumes command of the Utah Medical Command effective 10 February 2018. Signed, Colonel Charlene C. Dalto, commanding. Colonel Dalto now passes the guide on back to First Sergeant Marimoto, signifying her trust and confidence in the leaders and the soldiers of the Utah Medical Command. It's always a pleasure to be out here with the Medical Command. If you think about it, uh, over 15,000 soldiers have deployed in, since 2001, and every single one of them has uh, been handled and touched by you. And that's significant. And so I hope you uh, recognize that as a, as a command. Uh, how, who's been in since 2001 in the MedCom? Let me see you. Okay. Yeah, I know you have. <laughs> Jory, so you're freaking old. <laughs> No, you're not that old. <laughs> anyway, I'm very proud of y'all. Thank you for what you do. You are so professional in, in the way you execute uh, your duties. I want to recognize a few other people. Uh, Colonel Retired Bruce Reading is here. Bruce, thanks for being with us. One of the best legal minds in the state of Utah and a former guardsman. Um, and a good friend of mine, Colonel Adele Young, uh, who taught me in Cass Cube and is the sister of Colonel Delto. And uh, it's just a family business when you think about it. Um, I think of, of this soldier who just took command from, from Private E1 to 06. How many people do that in a career? Um, I appreciate uh, Colonel Coates and his family. Four years as commander, and I, I think you uh, have earned a rest. 
but I know that you'll support Charlene as she commands. And that's one of the unique things in the Metcom is you can be a commander and then stay after you've done that and uh, support the next commander. So I have faith and confidence he will do that. To your family, thanks for all you've done for him. Maybe you'll get to see him a little bit more. Uh, maybe not. And, and the Colonel Dalton, thank you for preparing yourself for this. Uh, it means a lot. I know you're a very serious individual. You, you give your full effort, and I know that you care about these soldiers, and that means the most to me. So thank you. And to your family, thank you uh, for supporting her in this responsibility. Uh, we live in a crazy world, ladies and gentlemen, and none of us know when the next call is going to come. We just simply have to be ready, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. So make sure you're, you're doing all those things as a soldier. Prepare yourself for whatever may come. And uh, regardless of what it is, we'll all be seeing you first because you got to put that stamp on our record before we can go downrange. So God bless you all. Thank you for what you do uh, to make this country better. And thanks to these two fine commanders, both incoming and outgoing. Thank you. General Borton, thank you for this opportunity to lead. I want to recognize General Burton, General Atac, General Fisher, Colonel Copeland, Sergeant Major Anderson, Sergeant Major Harvey, Chief Lucero, and all retired military and current members. Thank you for being here. Anyone that's been in the military for any length of time knows in order to be successful, you have to have a supportive family. And I have that in a wonderful, supportive husband, Joe, and my kids, Tiffany, Jane, and Blake. And in addition to that family, you have to have a great network of friends that can pick up the slack and help your family out when you're gone. And thanks to all those friends that are here and supporting me today. The MedCom has a remarkable mission, as General Burton said. We provide medical readiness for all the soldiers of the Utah Army National Guard. And that's a big job. And Colonel, as Colonel Coates said, we do a fantastic job of that. <clears throat> there's no greater privilege, there's no greater responsibility to serve, and I am humbled by the opportunity and the responsibility to do so. Thank you again, General Burton. After we're pleased to join us, we congratulate Colonel Dalto on the new appointment of Metcom Commander, as well as thank you, Colonel Coates, for his service. Um, before we, um, it will be light for fresh to serve afterward. Um, prior to us leaving, please join me. be known everywhere you go? No, it's just a practice in the military, especially in the Army. I didn't hear any other Army people doing well, it. Well, they should have done it. They're a disappointment. It's medical people for you, I guess. Medical people are boring. Is that, is they that are one? not boring. This is my baby. This is my little Adele. No, this is your baby. Get out this my other baby. Hi. Hi. Hey. What's up, dude? Nice to see you again. It's good to see you. Yeah, right. Where's my aunt? Hey, Blake. Hey. Hey, Janie, Janie, Janie. How are you? Did you tell your mom I was coming? No, I didn't. Well, because I was like... Good thing. Good, yeah, no, good. I didn't tell her. Holly, you sound exactly 
Tiffy Jojo, my Tiffy Jojo. Oh, I love you. You. you sound exactly like I do. Are you Jane's friend? Yes. yes. I'm not going to film you. Right. Feels great, right? <laughs> Unless you want me to. Where's Aunt Millie? With the baby. <gasps> Is that Aunt Millie? <gasps> Aunt Millie! Kristen! Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's so good to see Holy you. Holy crap, this is my cousin. Hey, what is that? It's magic. Do you look alike? She's the pretty one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy crap! Excuse my mouth. Bailey, can I have a hug? I'm your mom's cousin. You don't know me, but... Holy crap. <laughs> You're not um, no one, but everyone knows you. Okay. Hi, Karen. At Hi. Millie! Hi, honey! Hi, Aunt Millie! Oh, how are you? Hi, baby! This is baby L. Whose baby is this? Sean's. I think it is? Well, yes. no, it's yours. Where's Sean? He was in school. Hi, Aunt Millie! Oh my gosh! I was this is my Aunt Millie! I flew in just for this. Wow. That's what I was thinking you were. I'm in DC now. Here, Holly. I need to see this baby. Hello, I missed the whole thing. Al is her name? L. E L L E. Oh, yeah, she loves me. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, she smells like a baby. She smells so good. No, no, I'm not putting you down. No, I'm not done with you. She's like, I gave you the hug. No. How old is she? She is going to be 11 months on Monday. Your daddy is way bigger than this. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to kiss her. Just take your time. Oh, I love you. That's a camera. How are you, dude? Good. How are you? We're going down. That's to your the... cousin. You know her? Yes. She came over, and all the kids came over with them. Okay. Yeah. In January. I no. I'm not done. I'm not done with you. Thanks, Hal. You're the best. You said you know? Mm -hmm. Thanks. This is my new baby. I adopted her. I adopted her. No. Hi, Okay. Hi, little baby. She's so sweet. I know. She smells so good. I heard a little. I heard a little squeak, and I was like, "Hi, Aunt Nini. Hi, Aunt Nini. I'm here. I came in. Hey. I'll hug you again. You didn't even hug me once. What do you mean again? She no, you didn't. Long enough to steal the baby. You didn't. Oh, okay. I had the baby. Yeah, okay, there I we go. Okay, okay. I know. I am sorry. I didn't give you enough attention. I know. At least I didn't forget you. Got, you got my name right this time. I know. I know. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now you go get my stuff. My tummy growl just barely. My tummy growl. We're missing the food. My tummy growl. Yeah, I only fed him apples. Yeah, we only got apples. Oh, for breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. In the car. I'm such a good aunt. Yeah. Where do we go? Yeah. That's why I showed up such perfect timing. So now you can film me again eating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's Aunt Millie! Oh. We love Aunt Millie. Hey, Uncle Jed. Hey, what's going on? Don't play like you're too cool. No, I'm just hanging. Are you okay if you're on my YouTube channel? Are you okay about no, that? Is this your YouTube channel? What do you have to have a written release for everybody who's no? I don't have to. Do I have your permission? Sure. Do I have your permission to put you on my YouTube channel? Sure. Okay, don't come after me for any money. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna email you. you I'm gonna email you a release. What do you mean get famous? Rachel had them. Right. I've never seen you on YouTube. Oh, does she? What's your channel? Rude. Oh, Rachel in real life. Is that? What does this do? Make it whiter yeah. or something? Who's baby? Does. Does. Get more. Why it looks slim. It's a fish eye. Yeah, it's a little. It's not too fish eye, but. Um, no, Uncle Jed. I'm gonna look skinny like Kristen. This is a mother of four. 
She's always been super fed. She never would eat like seconds at Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, I would. She's remembering wrong. No, you didn't. I did. Oh my gosh. How long has it been since I've seen you? A lot of years. Yeah, it's so good to see you. A lot of years. my life. We were roommates. Kristen hated it. I would I would always turn off the heat or the air or something. You're like Rachel. Room temperature is 72 degrees. I don't remember Kristen, that. not at night. I don't remember that. We look a lot alike, huh? That's so creepy. Hey, Daddy Ryan. I am. I'm okay. That's nice. And Nini, how's it feel to be big time now? A little overwhelming. Is it okay if you're on my YouTube channel? Yes. So what are how many people do you oversee? We have 80 seven, 84 people assigned to our That's full time and that's mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, and we provide medical readiness for the Utah Army National Guard, 5,400 soldiers, just over 5,400. So Aunt Nini was an E8 for how many, how long were you enlisted? 20 years. 20 years, made it to the rank of E8, mm -hmm. commissioned, <laughs> and now look at her, she's a big woo -woo! She's a big bird, just like her big sister. <laughs> yes! But her big sister, aka my mom, never made it to colonel status.